Now I'm going to discuss some of the settings that can be changed on the quad stick to make gameplay easier for specific users. So within the joystick tab of the quad stick manager program, you can change the joystick sensitivity on the quad stick. So each of these sliding bars here correspond to the different directions of the quad stick joystick. And by sliding this blue knob here up and down on the sliding bar, you can make the joystick more or less sensitive. Lower numbers correspond to a more sensitive joystick, so it requires less movement to move your player in a game, whereas higher numbers correspond to a less sensitive joystick, so it requires more movement to move your player in a game. I typically start someone off with a sensitivity between 25 to 30. I find this is a good balance of sensitivity when somebody's getting started with the quad stick. Once you have adjusted the, the joystick sensitivity, you can save it by clicking Save Preferences to Quad Stick, and that will save your changes on your quad stick when you've changed the joystick sensitivity. In the miscellaneous tab, there's a lot of different settings that you can change. I'm not going to go over all of these right now, as some of them are a little bit more advanced, and we'll go over them in later videos. But I want to focus mostly on the sip and puff threshold. This might be in a different section of your quad stick manager program, depending on which version you have. But um, the sip and puff threshold will adjust how much respiratory strength is needed to activate the specific sip and puffs on the quad stick. So how much force I need to blow or sip in to activate those sip and puffs. So the sip and puff high threshold is for the normal sip and puffs on the quad stick, and the sip and puff low threshold is for the soft sip and puffs on the quad stick. So I'm gonna focus right here on just the normal sip and puff threshold, which is the high threshold. So typically out of the box, the quad stick will have a high sip and puff threshold of 40. And this is typically a good number or a good threshold for most users with adequate respiratory strength. However, with some, for some individuals, specifically someone on a vent, this might be too high for them to activate the controls or it might have a, they might have to use a lot of effort to activate the trolls, which controls which can make it exhausting to play games. Therefore, this might need to be lowered for these individuals to a lower number to allow them to activate the controls adequately so they're not exhausted to, when they're playing games or doesn't require too much respiratory force which they can't activate the controls. Another helpful setting that can be adjusted for users is the soft sip and soft puff delay, which I'll talk about in the next part of the video. The standard soft sips and soft puffs are programmed by default to activate after one second. Therefore, the user has to wait one second before the soft sips or soft puffs will activate in a game. As the user gets more skilled with the quad stick, they might want these durations shorter so they can activate the soft sips and soft puffs quicker in the game to more quickly access controls when needed. This can be reprogrammed in the quad stick manager program, which I'll show next. To change the delay for the soft sips and soft puffs, go under the miscellaneous tab in the quad stick manager program. Then find where it says low threshold delay on the side in the quad stick manager program. And you can see it's currently set for 1000 milliseconds or one second. Change this to a lower number based off of the user's needs. We're gonna show it with 250 milliseconds or one fourth of a second. Once it's changed, we're going to click Save Preferences to Quad Stick to update the changes that we just made. Now that I changed the soft sip or puff to activate after 250 milliseconds or one fourth of a second, it'll be much quicker to access in games. Therefore, as a user gets more skilled, this will be a better option for them as these controls will be able to be accessed much more quickly and it'll be much more helpful in high-paced scenarios in different games. Some individuals might have difficulty accessing the side tomb on the quad stick. Therefore, they might not be able to switch profiles or load new game files and take advantage of this feature of the quad stick. You can change where you can switch profiles and switch game files on the quad stick by programming new functions into the spreadsheets. I'm going to show this next. For switching between your small profiles or the different pages on your quad stick profiles in the spreadsheets, that can be programmed here under increment and decrement mode. Increment mode moves to the next sheet on your quad stick profiles and decrement mode moves down a spreadsheet. 
As you can see here by default in all the spreadsheets, right SIP and right puff, which is the side tube on the quad stick, is set to control increment and decrement mode. This can be changed, however, to any SIP and puff on the quad stick. Therefore, if I wanted the center SIP and puff to increment and decrement modes or move me between my my different sheets on my on my quad stick spreadsheets. I can program that in the quad stick manager program by setting that as the new function. Note, however, I will have to do this on every single page within my quad stick spreadsheet because every page will automatically have right sip and right puff, which is the side tube programmed to move between modes or pages on the quad stick. Therefore, for every single page, switch it to what you want the user to be able to access to switch between the small profiles or different pages on their quad stick spreadsheets. For switching between large game files on the quad stick, which are these files here shown in the quad stick manager program, this is typically switched between by doing a long hard zip in the side tube and then using the joystick and lip switch to select your profile. However, if the user cannot do a long hard sip and reach the side tube, this can be reprogrammed in the Quad Stick Manager program under the Google Sheets by programming load file to be accessed by a input on the Quad Stick. Load file will put the Quad Stick into a mode that allows it to switch profiles similar to doing a long hard sip on the side tube. Therefore, load file can be set as any input on the quad stick. So, if I wanted the right and center SIP to load a new file on the quad stick to replace the side tube function, I would simply just program load file to be controlled by right and center SIP on my quad stick controller. Therefore, using these two methods, by changing increment and decrement mode, on the quad stick spreadsheets, in addition to changing load file to a new input, I can allow someone who can't access the side tube to switch between the pages on their quad stick profiles and to load new profiles in their quad stick.